Well, tell us a little bit more about the, this community. I mean, I, I think we're all probably curious about how these things happen. I mean, if you create a subreddit about um, drinking a beer in the shower, I think I saw that somewhere, <laughs> or about, you know, I have an Italian Greyhound, so Italian Greyhounds, and then, you know, a crowd shows up. I mean, how, how does this happen? Have you guys sort of mapped out what takes place? I mean, no. We, we, I mean, we have some idea of when a subreddit starts to become popular. Um, and sometimes it's really obvious what hap you know, how a sub subreddit kind of becomes popular. But sometimes it's, it's we, we will go back and try to figure out, like, why did this, um, you know, why did this music genre suddenly take off on Reddit? I don't understand. Uh, and we, we won't be able to tell. It's sort of somehow in the, like, sort of messy patchwork and chaos of Reddit, it, that subreddit sort of attracts an audience. And maybe it's something they're doing as moderators and as the way they sort of framed the community that makes it sort of take off. Or maybe it's they just got lucky and someone linked to it from a popular outside entity, you know, a popular Twitter account or something, or a news article or a top comment on a popular post on Reddit. Um, sometimes we just don't know. Um, but in general, you see, um, you know, the, the communities that really take off, it's the, the sort of pattern I see most often is that it's kind of clear, you know, if you visit that community or even if you hear about it, you sort of know what you're going to get. So one of our fastest growing subreddits uh, of all time is called Explain Like I'm Five. <laughs> right? So people come on and say, the debt crisis, explain like I'm five. And so everybody, even if you've never been to that subreddit, you basically know what you're going to get. You're going to get sort of complex things broken down into, into hopefully more understandable chunks. Right? Um, so that subreddit really took off. Um, our sort of crowdsourced Q&A, you know, this thing I am a, or ask me anything. Again, you know, if you sort of see the subreddit ask me anything or hear about it, you, you kind of get it right away. So, so those subreddits, those sort of... Um, communities tend to, tend to be the ones that all of a sudden are exploding. Do you know anything more about how these communities, I guess, sort of stay together and, and perpetuate? Because we see often online, whether it's in online comment sections or uh, other venues online, that you, know, you can create a community for a short period of time, but then it might disperse. And some of these, like you're talking about, have been around for a while. So I've, I'm sure there are people here who wonder if there's any, any lessons or any if you can tell us about how these communities stay together. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing that we've seen is, is some of what I showed you at the beginning, like the customization. So, if you, so the way subreddits work is, you know, anyone comes on and they create a subreddit. So let's say there's not a subreddit for um, Italian Greyhounds. But you're like, so there should be. There should be, and there, there may be, I don't know. Um, but so you, you're like, ah, oh, there needs to be a subreddit for Italian Greyhounds, so you go and create one. You're now the, like, supreme... <coughs> dictator of that subreddit. Um, if you wanted to, you could, you could say you can only post in Italian. You know, the, it should be problematic because I don't know Italian. Right, right, but it's the, it's the true language of the, of the Italian Greyhound, so you should only post in Italian. And, and no one can, you know, people would probably complain to us about it, but we would say, well, you know, he created the subreddit, that's, that's his decision if he wants to make it only in Italian. Um, you know, or you could, you could make the background, you know, nothing but tiny, cute Italian Greyhound pictures. And that's sort of your uh, sort of responsibility and your prerogative as the as the creator and as the moderator. Um. So, with with as much freedom as the community and users have on on Reddit, they've created multitudes of subreddits, and um, that's something that's gotten the site in trouble from time to time. And you know. The sites with names like Creepshot and Jailbait and, and other sort of things that are completely not safe for work and otherwise make you kind of question your faith in humanity, um, but also kitten videos. Um, so, I'm, but I'm wondering though, what is maybe the guiding principle there? Because for a lot of companies, you know, they would look at that and say, we have to have, you know, we have to have control over this, and we can't, you know, we can't have people doing these things on our site. You know, we don't know. I guess it's, is, is this going to be a venue? Or are we going to treat this like it's a VFW hall where we give people the space? Or is it going to be a democracy where we say everyone has a vote? I, I'm wondering sort of what the guiding principle you guys have is for 
the way the community should operate and, and what is allowable on Reddit? Sure. So, um, I mean, in general, our, our philosophy is, you know, it's a site that gets, uh, you know, whatever, 5 billion page views, and we have 35 employees. Um, and, you know, any site like that, you know, whether it's Wikipedia, Craigslist, Reddit, whatever else comes next, you, if you're going to function, you have to have, um, you know, you have to have some rules. You know, so the VFW, you can, you can have whatever you want there, but you can't, you know, burn the building down. You can't, you know, stab the staff. Like, <laughs> there's some rules, um, but the rules have to be sort of, you know, relatively easy to define, relatively finite. You know, you can't have 500 pages of rules because no one's going to read them. And they have to be relatively um, self-enforceable, right? So um, that is, is what we've done. So we have like six rules. Um, you know, we've added one or two throughout the year. But we try to keep the rules very um, sort of simple. So no spam. Um, you know, you can't try to break the site. Um, you can't interfere with the functioning of, of the site. You can't try to cheat. Um, you can't have anything that's illegal. Um, you, we added a rule, you can't have material that sexualizes minors. Um, and I'm forgetting one. But, you know, we, we try to have rules that, you know, if I, could, if I could make a rule that said, don't be a jerk, <laughs> I would absolutely do that, but you can't, right? You'd need a lot of addendums to don't be you a would, jerk. You would need pages of addendums, you know, no one would agree in most of the cases, and it wouldn't be enforceable. So that's not a, that's not a valid rule to have. So we try to have rules that, uh, oh, no personal information. So you can't put personal information on the site. Um, and that, you know, that, uh, again, most, you know, most people will, will agree, okay, yeah, you can't put someone's home address uh, up on the internet. So this sort of, that is something that's able to be sort of self-policed. So, you know, in general, that's, that's our philosophy. And there's tons of stuff on the site that we don't, you know, agree with or that we find horrid and, you know, offensive, but, um, you know, as a whole, the site works when we are able to kind of, as much as possible, be agnostic and, and let those sort of finite, simple rules handle um, sort of the activity and, and the policing of the site. Mm -hmm. But what's, I mean, and I've, we've got some questions to, to, that this actually touches on in regards to, to journalism, but I guess I'm, I'm wondering though what responsibility you guys feel you might have because if you... I guess in some ways this is maybe a, if you see a crime in progress question, and that might be going a little bit too far. But if you know if you're seeing people that are exercising bad behavior or or subreddits that are, you know, like you said, offensive, um, even if you find it offensive, you're going to be hands off on that. So I'm wondering what kind of responsibility you feel if you see something that you you yourself personally feel is wrong. Yeah, I mean it. it it's hard, um, but you know, we, what I find offensive and what someone else finds offensive from a different part of the world or a different political belief or whatever uh, is not gonna be the same. And, and people don't come to Reddit because they think we have the best sort of, um, you know, th they come to Reddit for the platform, not for our individual um, or even collective sort of judgment on, on what is acceptable and what isn't. Um, also on Reddit, you, you know, context, because you have these communities, um, that are user created, you have content that is often user created, and then you have all the context around the communities, um, you know, it becomes very subjective. So for example, one of the subreddits that we get complaints about all the time is pics of dead children, mm -hmm. right? Horrible, offensive, it's pictures of dead children. Okay, that's obviously very offensive, it's, it's done to provoke a response, but what if that subreddit was called um, child autopsy photos. And it was the same content, but it was more for a medical purpose. Or we have a subreddit called Morbid Reality. It's more of like, this is what, you know, sort of a lot of people, um, it's a more, it's again, very similar content, but it's a more sort of nuanced and, I don't know, uh, human response to this very shocking, provocative content. Um, but it's, it's the, some of the same things. There's dead children, you know, but it's, it's, it's in a war zone. There's dead children, but it's from disease. And people, or whatever, I mean, I don't go to that subreddit, but other people 
find that meaningful to look at sort of death. Right? We have a subreddit about combat footage where there's horrible, horrible things that happen. But that's, you know, when it's GoPro videos from soldiers' helmets. Um, a lot of it is extremely, I don't even, beyond offensive. It's people being killed. Um, but is that, you know, and, and, and if you had that under a different, you know, you could imagine a, the exact same content, content, combat footage under a different sort of subreddit or under a different topic that would be incredibly offensive, but it's the same content. Um, so again, it's, it's, it's once you start getting into, you know, what we either individually or collectively find offensive or too far, um, it gets very tricky.